This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Leos out here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Once again, my name is D-Reader, the Million Dollar here. For those of you that are new, and welcome to the Million Dollar channel. So we do have somebody from the past that has something they want to say to Leo. So these just jumped out. So I'm going to go ahead and read these. We're starting off with, we will be together again. So this is an air sign. This is a Libra Gemini. This could be another fire sign. This could be an Aries Sagittarius. I want to be more than friends. You could have friends on this person, Leo. I want to tell you how I feel. I left you before you could leave me. I am not available. I left when I saw you with someone. I look for you everywhere. I'm starting to understand our connection. I feel you leaving me behind. So for a lot of my Leos, this person feels like you don't want to be with them anymore. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. You and I were too young. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I'm so attracted to you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I'm replaying our conversations over and over. So many things remind me of you. I bury myself in work to forget about you. So for a lot of my Leos, I love you. I regret lying to you. I couldn't let you get close to me. So for a lot of my Leos that were wondering why you felt this disconnect, this person didn't want to let you in. This person didn't want to let you in, Leo. They were scared. They were scared of, you know, which way the connection could possibly go. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship. That's this person's energy. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. This person has an addiction issue. This could be drugs, alcohol, sex, getting a lot of different situations. We got the runner. Runner and codependent relationships, fear, intimacy, letting go of ego. They couldn't let go of their ego. I'm seeing you welcome them in new love. A lot of my Leos are like, you know what? I'm not chasing this person. I'm not going to keep dealing with this person's energy, emotions. I'm just going to start dealing with somebody else. That's where a lot of my Leos are at right now. The butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Then we have the hammer. Sabotage rebuilding. So for a lot of you, some of you could feel like this person sabotaged the relationship on purpose. A lot of my Leos feel that way right now. You do have an ex that's watching you. You do have somebody lurking. You do have somebody stalking you. This person gaslighted you. This person was very deflective. You could have even been engaged to this person at some point. Some of you are engaged right now. We got, I like you. It's somebody around the corner. Then I'm seeing you dead a situation with somebody else. Some of my Leo's got a third party situation. Some of you got more than one person. You know, and if it's not you, then maybe it's the person that you're dealing with. We got this relationship is over. No second chances. So for a lot of my Leo's, there's no coming back from this. We got the palm tree. We got stability coming in. This is something better. This is something reliable. This is something that you can actually depend on. This is something that you can lean on if things get rough. We got stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, deception. We got the camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, make memories. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Then we have the coffin. End embrace, new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Then we have cassette. A lot of you are going back in your phone and looking at old pictures and looking at old memories. I'm not going to tell you not to do that necessarily, but this relationship is over with this person. They were a narcissist. They didn't have your back, Leo. So honestly, I'm thinking like, it's clarity coming in for you. The truth is coming in for you. But it's not going to come in when you want it. It's not going to be on Leo's time. And especially with the clock, a lot of you are in a rush right now. The universe sees you're in a rush and maybe that's why they're not giving it to you right now. They want you to wait for, for the right timing in order to actually make this move for a lot of my Leos. Take what energy resonates, of course, and leave what doesn't. Who, who is this? This is Aquarius for some of you. We got transgression, okay? This could be a cancer for some of you. We got desire. You have a lot of sexual attraction and sexual chemistry with this person. This could be a Taurus for some of you. We got harmony. It's a lot of harmony in this connection too. This could be an Aries for some of you. Be careful. This is an Aries or a Taurus. 
We got some Gemini energy. I'm seeing your feelings are really involved. That's the kicker with this. Somebody could be 35. We got fulfillment. A lot of you are going after what makes you feel fulfilled right now. Somebody can have a 22-year-old. Somebody could be 22. We got the truth. So we got some Aquarius energy. Somebody's dealing with an Aquarius to have a history. It looks like the truth is going to be coming out. It's like somebody seeking a vengeance. I don't know if this is you, Leo, of the person that you're dealing with. Somebody wants revenge. We got jealousy. Somebody's jealous of you, Leo. Be careful of the energies around you. This could even be the person that you're dealing with. I am still doing five of five questions for Leo. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. You can check out the description below for more. Thank you.